All right, Rivals Coliseum, Tariq versus Terra on open water, and we've got Jackson versus Jade. Don't see Jade very often in Scoundrel. Uh, yeah, I've seen a bit more of her on ladder recently. Like, people are really loving that Chem Warrior base rush stuff. Yeah. And it uh, looks like that's going to be a deck that Terra is probably going to be running here. This very much looks like a win first missile. Just get some Chem Warriors on the map and run it down the enemy base. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to see Terra attempting to do. This is not a terrible map for Eva because the top route uh, above the missile, people tend to just ignore what's going on up there a lot of the time. So you can just yep. sneak a Chem Warrior along there and people won't be able to notice it coming. So who do you think is favoured in the matchup based on deck? Do you still think it's just the guy playing GDI? Well, okay, right. This is interesting because you have a Talon which will help you counter the, the Chem Warriors. Mm -hmm. Although Chem Warriors are notably a lot more tanky than Shockwave Troopers and Flame Troopers, so it takes a little bit longer for the Talon which doesn't have the best ground DPS in the world to get through them. That and then you've true. got Terra... The Chems didn't get affected by the nerf to hit points. Yeah, and then you've got the Banshee coming out from Terra, which actually gives Nod a viable way to fight back against the GDI War Factory. So I actually think it's a little bit more even than it might seem from the outset, just from having, uh, you know, GDI. <laughs> so Terra's tried to sneak some bikes around the back, and he's been caught doing it. Oh, then th these lasers have just completely cleaned up the board, though. I think Tariq has overreacted by sending this Harvester north. I think he could have taken some hits for a while, and let the he could let the Harvester tank while his Pitbull cleaned up the, uh, cleaned up the bikes. It looks like Terra's taking a commanding lead. Leaving this single Ooh. chem trooper alive has really punished him. Yep. And uh, he, he managed to just focus on the missile there, which is really important. Uh, and now we're not seeing an, a massive commit from these chem warriors just now from Terra. It looks like he's going to try and play it out the normal way because he's going for scorpion tanks. Uh, it looks like maybe even going to go and try and secure that harvester here. Yeah, it looks like Tariq is just really low on funds. I think that boost on... The, I guess he's obviously realized he needs money, so he's boosted his jump jets in a desperate attempt to get his harvest to kill because he's so far behind in cash. And I think he's going to need to make double Predator here to kill these Scorpions off because whilst the Predator will beat Scorpions, 2v1 the Scorpions will still win easily. These jump jets are, are nice, though. They're going to they're gonna make a big difference. And that's an excellent block. The Pitbull blocked where the Chem Warrior was trying to go. So the Chem Warrior, instead of having trying to find an alternate route... But all the tiles were blocked. It's just immediately gone backwards. Gone backwards like three tiles. And that's how these jump jets have managed to avoid it. Yeah, interesting that the Terra's actually playing this a bit more conservatively than your usual Jade deck. He's just using the, the Chem Warriors as like an anti-infantry unit as opposed to going for that base deck. And it looks like it's working out for him. I think the Banshee might actually strictly just win him this game. Yeah, I think this Banshee is excellent timing. He should he should be killing this Talon though. If he doesn't kill this Talon very... Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> he had enough time. I think he should have killed that Talon still, but yeah. Yeah, he had, he had the, safe, the, the, the safer option was to kill a Talon, but I think either way, the Banshee wins in the game in that scenario.